Caputo. Ice. Glass. Tweak. Crank. Chizzo. Shards. Crystal. The Magic Dragon. Meh. If we're out in public, it's gonna be called Tina because it sounds like you're just talking about a girl. It doesn't sound like you're talking about one of the worst drugs in American history. Crystal meth is actually the more pure form of methamphetamine. Commonly, people think methamphetamine is just a powder, but really, these days, you have to go searching just to find it in powder form. Crystal meth is the most common what you're gonna find of the meths. It looks like glass, like blades almost, but it's like glass pieces. It comes in different flavors sometimes. It comes in like different colors, kind of pinkish, brown color, like an off-white, and sometimes it's crystal clear. And there is also another thing, uh, it's called peanut butter crank. It actually looks like peanut butter, smells like peanut butter, and it's basically pure speed. It's more pure form of crystal meth. It's made out of everything underneath the hood of your car and your kitchen sink. Ammonia. Driveway cleaner. Fly gun bluing. Battery acid. Pesticides. It's basically ingredients that if you ingested any of them would pretty much kill you or send you to the hospital in serious condition. And I know that the people that manufacture it, you know, can get blown up and they die. It's just, it's strictly just toxic poison. For every one pound of meth that you make, you get six pounds of toxic waste. It's going to cause irreversible damage. Originally started out snorting it. Snort it, smoke it, shoot it, whatever, you know. I'd snort it, shoot it, and I would ingest it as well. I tried it every way that you could do it, and I just kept gradually going up and, you know, trying to get that better high until I was, you know, slamming it multiple times in the day. I was 13 when I first started doing it. So I about the age of 16. First time I did it, I was 17. I was at my brother's house, just sitting down there smoking it, and he offered it to me. Got into it because I wanted to impress a guy. It was utter curiosity, maybe boredom. I started off just having fun and hanging out. It was a social thing. My parents in my school sent me to a rehab because I got caught smoking weed at school. Just met some people there and I started you know, hanging out with them when I got out and they introduced me to it. One day they pulled out, you know, a crystal meth pipe and were smoking it and I had no idea what it was. I thought, okay, well this can't be that bad, you know, everyone else is doing it. I decided since I already smoked marijuana, maybe uh, try this meth thing, so big mistake. Once I tried it that one time, just this instant euphoria, like it probably kicked in within 10 to 30 seconds of smoking it. You know, at first you feel really good and I felt like I was on top of the world. And it lasts for quite a long time, you know, for some people up to 12 hours. When you come down from it, it's like the complete opposite. And it started coming off of it the next morning. That's when I actually called the drug dealer and said, is this supposed to happen? He's like, yeah, but there's an easy remedy. You just do more. Or once you start and get going, there's no stopping it my body would ache. Like I had just gone over the, or had like the worst flu ever. Throwing up, couldn't hold anything down, and I was yellow on top of it. Lethargic all the time, really hard on your body. I came out of the military, I was weighing like, you know, 180, and within six months, I was down to like 135. Went and saw a friend, and she's like, what have you been doing? You look like a stick. I had spots in my head about this big of hair, like literally gone, like a baby's butt. I and mean, you can tell when somebody's on meth, you know, it definitely takes its toll on you physically. I started getting like more psychotic, like my boyfriend and his friend would be talking and I would just, I would swear that they were talking in code. You know, I would be hallucinating so bad where I'd see things in my room, see things that weren't there like bugs or see things crawling on me, picking at my arm and trying to get these bugs out of my arm. I spent six hours not moving other than picking at my face in front of the mirror. By the end of the night, I had huge gashes all over my all over my face, you know? I'd have them on my arms, I'd have them on my legs. I was up for like my eighth day with no sleep and no food, watching the walls move. I'd been up for 37 days on meth and I was looking out my window in the backyard and I was absolutely positive the police were there and they were in the bushes, they were in the trees, they were waiting to bust me, they were waiting to bust all my friends. So I um, picked up the phone and I called 911 and I told the dispatcher that if you guys are gonna sit in my backyard and just watch me, why don't you come and arrest me? And all my friends at that point just left. The police came, they surrounded my house. Eventually they had to get me and tackle me and get me out of the house. Ended up taking me away. I think the people were chasing after me. I actually went to a family member's house and they ended up calling the cops on me because they didn't know what was wrong with me. Woke up in a padded room and I spent a week in a mental hospital. And you just go crazy on it because you're, you're tweaking. 
you're not thinking straight. Kind of gets your wheels turning real fast. You're just moving like 100 miles per hour, like in your head. Your thoughts, everything's just going boom, 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 like really fast. You'll start projects without being able to finish them. Oh, you can't concentrate on any one thing. Just constant motion and you're doing absolutely nothing. I had to calm myself down, panic attacks and stuff. I would just start getting real irritable, cranky, tired. You get depressed, feel worthless. I remember just wanting to lay in bed and sleep my life away. That was the only way I could function is if I did just do a shot. Just needed that and wanted it and was gonna do anything to get it at that point. Wouldn't have any problem going to your house, kicking your door in, robbing you for everything you had just to get it. Makes you not care that you're wasting your life away. Makes you not care that your sister cries at night because her brother is, is out committing crimes and manufacturing methamphetamines. HUD completely kidnapped me, mind and soul. And the more I did, the more it built up inside of my body. I noticed in myself uh, short-term and long-term memory loss, nerve damage. My muscles sometimes twitch, just things that seem to be irreparable. My gums have permanent damage, I have permanent bone loss underneath my, my gum line. I have an eroded esophagus now. Six years ago it was near cancerous. I still have problems today with it. I mean, really bad heartburn. Um, can't, I mean, if I drink water, it can burn my throat. I got cut from here all the way down to below my, my bikini line, and they removed all my large intestines. It left me with one inch. I have tendonitis now. Well, I got hepatitis C from injecting drug use. You know, doing all that battery acid and muriatic acid and all that, it eats away not only at your teeth, but every bone, your eyes, it, it kills you. You are the company you keep. So if you're hanging out with people that do drugs, you're gonna do drugs. I don't care who you are, you're just, you're not going to be able to function better on drugs. Of course, I was always warned as a young kid, you know, stay away from this, stay away from that. Whereas, knowing what I know now, yeah, I would have definitely avoided it. You know, nobody ever told me when I started it that, hey, this is an extremely deadly poison. If anybody had actually told me what it would really do to me, I, I would have walked right away from them and told them they're crazy. You know, there's nothing cool about it, there's nothing fun about it. It's deceiving at first, but it'll just take you to a place of going nowhere. You know, becoming addicted for just one try or just one time, it's not worth it because that one time can kill you. A couple nights of fun could lead to a whole lifetime of uh, destruction. Look at the pictures, they don't lie. You know, like the mug shots, they don't lie. The people that are going to jail, it's not lying. I mean, it can be you. It's probably, in my opinion, the one drug that will make sure it happens. <laughs>